There's a whole other level of, for advanced users, which is called custom programming. And that's your, your traditional ramp hold programming, very similar to uh, other controllers you may be familiar with. So I'm going to go through and hit, instead of the bisque or the glaze, I'm going to hit the custom. It says CUST for custom, I hit enter. And instead of getting to uh, where it says uh, fire, it gives me some other options. So I have here, it says CUS2. I have four programs in there. They're all numbered, one, two, three, four. Let's say I want to go to custom one and change that. So then I hit enter. And now in the ramp hold program, you must specify how many segments you want. So I'm only going to do a two segment program. And I hit enter. It tells me ramp one is going at 150 degrees an hour. You know what? That's fine. I'm just going to hit enter. Uh, now I'm going to change this. It's, it's telling me it's going to 250 degrees uh, temperature, but I want it actually to go to 300 degrees before I switch over to the next um, ramp. Now it's telling me right now I have a hold of 15 minutes. You know, I'm just going to, I don't want any hold. I want it to immediately switch over. And now I'm into ramp 2, RA2, and it's 250 degrees an hour. I'm going to, I want this to go as fast as this kiln can take it. So I'm going to hold this button down and I'm going to bring this up to 9999, which is as fast as the program control will tell the kiln to go, but in fact, of course, the kiln won't go to that temperature, but it'll go, or it won't go that fast, but it'll go at its, at its maximum rate. Okay, so I'm going to say oh, that's fine. It's going to go to, in degrees F, set point number two is going to be 1500 degrees. I am going to uh, say lower that to um, 1490, say, okay, and I'm going to hit enter, and it's got a five minute hold, and I guess that's all right, and then it says fire. At this point, I can put a delay in, right, and I will hit enter, and now it's firing that program. Now every time, I'm going to stop it, and every time I want to put a delay in, I have to put it in for the program that I'm firing. So they keep that in mind. It doesn't, it does not persist. It does not stay in there. You have to put a new delay in every time you fire the program. But let's say I want to fire that custom program number one again. Here's what I do. I go to the custom programming. I'm in custom one. I hit enter. And basically all I'm going to do is scroll down through each one of those things and not change anything. And then it can be very fast. I see the fire. I hit the button. And now I'm firing that same program again. And that's it for the basics. Um, now I'm going to show you how to change a few parameters that are, uh, I guess, basic options uh, for the controller. And these are uh, whether you want to run in degrees Fahrenheit or degrees centigrade, thermocouple offset, and a whether you want the beep to come on or not. Now to do this, I hold the, I hold enter, I turn the toggle switch on, I keep holding enter until it beeps and I get the word edit and then it goes into this menu. Now what I'm going to do is hit the up or the down key and that's going to toggle between on, off, or full. So let's just say I don't really want to hear this beeping sound, and I hit enter. Now it says degrees F. That's what this thing is set up for. If I hit either one of these up or down buttons, I can toggle it to degrees centigrade. And notice when I'm in degrees centigrade, you will see a little red dot here, and that will persist throughout the whole time that you have the thing on. So you're reminded that you're in degrees centigrade. And um, hit enter. And now it says offset. Okay. If I hit the up button, I will be in the positive range. And this is thermocouple offset. And basically what it means is the controller, if I put in, say, positive 18 degrees, 
that's telling me the controller is adding another 18 degrees Fahrenheit or centigrade, however I have a thing set up uh, at that uh, to the signal. So I'm going to leave that in there and I'm going to hit enter and that's uh, basically um, now you notice that the ambient temperature has changed because it's in degrees centigrade and you see the little red dot. Well I'm going to turn it off, we're going to change that degrees centigrade to degrees F and I'm going to show you how to set it, put in a negative offset. So you see we're into edit again, I'll just hit enter to get through this and now I'm, I'm just toggled back to degrees F, I'm going to hit enter. Now this time on the offset, I want to hit the down button. The first button I want to hit is the down button because I want it to be negative. Okay, so I'm going to put in a negative. But now I hit the down button, but I have to hit the up button to actually put a value in. And um, maybe that's a little bit non-intuitive, but there you go. So instead of having a plus 18 degrees, I'm going to put in a minus 18 degrees and enter and now I'm back to the idle mode and uh, if I wanted to change it back uh, to just zero say let's let's do that because I don't really want that in there right now now the reason we have offsets is because uh, we can compensate for our thermocouples that's one thing uh, the thermocouple protection tube um, but also you can adjust the whole firing of the kiln, which is very, very nice. You can go up a, a, a couple degrees or down a couple degrees, and that gives you a lot of control. So um, it says minus 18 with the value we put in there before. I'm going to hit, hit the up. Whoops. Actually, I want to go down, and now I have negative zero, so I'm, I have no offset in the controller. And that's pretty much it. So um, we hope that you enjoy this. We hope it gives you many, many years of, of great service. And we believe that it will greatly simplify uh, a lot of uh, troublesome programming in the classroom and among hobbyists.